Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually create your own custom pin it button for your images on your Squarespace website. Now, a quick introduction before we dive in. My name is Becca Harpain. I'm a Squarespace designer, Squarespace Circle member, a self-professed CSS super nerd, and the founder of InsideTheSquare.co, a resource on all things CSS used by Squarespacers around the world. Now I say this word a lot, so I wanna make sure I mention this right off the bat. The term Squarespace is a trademark of Squarespace Incorporated. This content is not affiliated with Squarespace Incorporated. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about how we do this in your Squarespace website. There are actually three steps to today's tutorial. In the first step, I'm gonna show you how to enable the pin it button so it's automatic and ready to rock. In the second step, I'm going to show you where to upload the image that you're going to use instead of the branded Pinterest little icon there. And then the third step, I'm going to show you how to add the custom code and what the custom code is that you're going to want to paste into your website. So let's get started with step one. I'm going to hop into my demo site. Now, real quick, I want to mention I'm doing this in my 7.1 template. This tutorial works for any version of Squarespace out there, Squarespace 7 or 7.1 exactly the same in both options. So don't worry if you're still using Squarespace 7, this tutorial is going to work for you. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Step one, enabling the button. We're going to select marketing from the menu here. And then down here, you have Pinterest save buttons. That's exactly what we're working with. I'm going to click on that. And right now it says disabled. I've got two images there. If I select enable for blogs, pages, and products, this allows the small button to show up above my images. You can choose circle or rectangle, small or large, honestly doesn't matter because that's the part we're gonna change. So whatever you have selected, you'll notice when I hover over that image with my cursor, now we can see the Pinterest button. All right, I'll select save so it's enabled. And you can do this on just blogs. This code that we're going to use will work for either, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I have these pictures on a page. So I wanna make sure I have blogs, pages, and product enabled. So we'll back out of here. And then we have our second step, uploading the pin it image. To do this, we need to go to design and then down to custom CSS. Right here at the very bottom, we have an option that says manage custom files. I'll make sure you can see that there. We've got manage custom files. If you click on this, you can actually drop an image or a font, but in this case, an image to be hosted on your Squarespace website. Now I made you something pretty awesome to go with this tutorial. As usual, I have a cheat sheet available. Let me show you that here. I have a free download with the codes that we're covering today. Just head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash pin, and you can grab the cheat sheet of those codes. But along with that, I've created a couple of Pinterest badges for you. So these right here are PNG images that say pin this, pin this picture, or save this recipe. These are available along with the cheat sheet at insidethesquare.co forward slash pin. So head on over there and you can grab one of those images pre-sized and perfect to upload to your Squarespace website. I'll go ahead and start with this banner right here. We all know I love that teal. I'm gonna grab this one, drag it on over and drop it right here into the manage custom files. So let me show you that one more time. We'll back out of here in the very beginning. We'll go to design, custom CSS, manage custom files, and this is where I'm going to drag and drop that image into Squarespace. Now, when I click on that image, check it out. In my custom CSS file, I have the whole URL for where that image lives because it's now hosted on Squarespace. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and we'll move on to step three, which is adding the custom code. So we'll still be here in our custom CSS section, but if you open up that cheat sheet at insidethesquare.co forward slash pin, I have the code in there for you. And I'll paste it right here. And now we'll see when we hover over that image, it doesn't do anything. The Pinterest image is gone, but we've got a cool little drop shadow, which I'll explain to you here in a minute. But see, the Pinterest image is no longer there. I'll go ahead and remove this code so you can see what it looks like before. Uh-huh, and then this is what it looks like after. The Pinterest image is gone, where the heck did it go? How do we get that other picture in there? Well, there's one part of this code that you're gonna need to change. Right here in line six, it says your URL here. And that is where we're going to paste the code that came from our custom code file. So I'm gonna hit the backspace button. So now I have my cursor between those two quotation marks there. 
I'll select Manage Custom Files and click on my image, and the URL is gonna go right there into the code for me. And now, when I hover over the image, check it out. We've got that cool pin this button on there. So let's break down this code really quick. I just want to show you what we're doing here. What we're doing is actually scooting the Pinterest pin it button off the page, but we're doing it in a very clever way. So we don't end up with that scrolling bar on the bottom that tells people to scroll to the left or to the right of the page. We're actually scooting it off using the translate X or moving it along the X axis 3000 pixels all the way to the left. And then we're saying, hey, if you're gonna display this button right after it, go ahead and put this image up instead and scoot that image 3000 pixels to the right. That puts it just where the old pin it button was. Now I've added a little bit of code, extra code in here to scoot it on up to the top so we get that cool layered effect. And then I also added, added the uh, box shadow here so it looks a little raised off the page when we highlight over it with our cursor. So I'll show you one more time. I'm gonna cut that out of here and we'll see what it looked like before. This is the before, paste the code in there. This is the after. Pretty cool, right? And you can use any image that you want there. I just have those pre-sized ones that I made for fun. Happy to share. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash pin to download the code that I used in this tutorial as well as those free pin it or pin this picture images that I made for you. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe because I post a new one every week. Thank you so much for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.